Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today, I have the red breast 12 year old cash strength. Now, I have a lot of Irish in my blood, but I don't necessarily always reach for an Irish whiskey. I'll let you know why that is when I nose this, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, this one is batch B1 16 coming in at 57.2% ABV. Now, I'm assuming that batch means the first batch of 2016. Let me know in the comments if you know for sure, but I'm assuming that's what it means. So this is a kind of an older expression uh, from a couple of years back. I've had it for a while. Um, let's get to the nose. This has a great nose on it. Lots of like fresh apples, uh, apricots. You get a little like chocolate note in there too. And it definitely packs a punch. You do get some like, just a tad little bit of like alcohol note, but it's not overwhelming. You still get lots, lots of uh, fresh, bold flavors coming out of this one. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, Ex-bourbon matured and then finished in an Oloroso sherry, I believe. Getting all of those notes from both casts in this. Very well balanced on the nose. Let's go palette. Really nice kind of like creme brulee, chocolate combo going on there. Really do like that. I guess the only thing for me on this whiskey is the finish. It is a powerful, bold, long finish. I just get a little bit of like grain um, note, like a cereal grain kind of combo coming in on the finish. And I think that's the thing about Irish whiskey that I don't necessarily love. And I'm, this is the only bottle of Irish whiskey I have in my entire bar. Um, I never reach for an Irish whiskey. I don't really buy Irish whiskey. I like a lot of it, but it just seems for me, between scotch and bourbon, I'm always sourcing that profile more than an Irish whiskey profile. I don't know if it's the triple distilled or if it's the, you know, malted barley with the unmalted, unmalted barley, I think that maybe that's what it is. Maybe like that unmalted barley note that's giving me that cereal grainy kind of uh, finish, tail end, um, you know, lingering note. Maybe that's what I don't like necessarily about Irish whiskey as much as I like other kinds of whiskeys. Um, this one is a very good expression. I think it's probably the best value Irish whiskey that I've had. Um, cast strength, 12 years old, double matured. Um, I think I paid 110 Canadian dollars for this. Um, score wise for me, I'm gonna go 86 and a half out of 100. And for value, I'm gonna bump it up a half point for value. I think 110 Canadian is a decent price for this whiskey. Um, something at the LCBO that's still um, you know, a worthwhile buy, I would say. So let's make that 87 out of 100. Uh, let me know what you guys think. St. Patrick's Day is today. Um, are you reaching for an Irish whiskey? If you are, what's your favorite? What are you going to go to today uh, for your dram? I hope everyone is having a uh, safe and healthy time. I know these lockdowns um, throughout the world are kind of a bummer, especially on a day like today where you like to be out socializing with a lot of people. Um, but if you're stuck at home, you're reaching for an Irish, let me know in the comments down below which one you're going for. If you like these videos, uh, give me a thumbs up and happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Stay safe out there. Cheers.